Hey everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy, and today the Learn PHP book is free, so go ahead and pick that up. I'll put a link down below and you can grab that. Now, let's talk about something else. The other thing that I wanted to talk about, and I did talk about, and I wrote about it, a pretty long message about it, was the people who have decided to cheat the system. So I was reading some reviews from some other books, and this isn't just from my genre, but it was from my genre. Books that had like five star reviews, um, like a hundred five star reviews and nothing else. And I thought, oh, that's, that's probably, that's almost impossible. <laughs> and um, like, and especially the books were like 23 pages long. So I'm reading these reviews and they're just totally general. They'd say nothing about the book at all. I'm just like, wow, I can't, you know, this person clearly paid for these reviews. And then when I click on the reviewers, all of the different reviewers, they all had been reviewing the same products. And so it was clear to me that there were people cheating the system. So um, if you do finish this book, please, leave a review and uh, write some feedback what you like, write what you think can be improved on it. Um, one of the things I know that can already be improved is, and I spent some time trying to figure this out, but the on an, on an iOS device, so uh, an, uh, an Apple device, um, the spacing, the line spacing isn't as, is optimal. Um, so if you do have like an iPhone, you can read it, it'll still work, but it won't look as good as if it did, if it does, as it does on a Kindle Cloud at the moment. Um, but uh, other than that, it looks fantastic on the Kindle e-ink. Um, it looks fantastic on Android devices. It looks fantastic on the desktop. Um, and that's where I wanted to really focus because there's other books in this genre. So I thought, let's just make, uh, let's make the formatting, the ease of reading it, a pleasurable experience uh, for you, the reader. And again, um, with the reviews, I just I just think that people who lie and they pay for these reviews, it just harms the reader. It just it really does because it makes that book more makes that book higher up in the search rankings, and then the people see them, they read it, and they end up purchasing the book, and then they only make it five pages in because uh, you know the grammar's off, the formatting's off, like everything just I mean it's bad for the reader. And I think that Amazon needs to update their algorithm to promote uh, books that get further, that people get further into. And that can be either page wise, it can be a mixture of how many pages the person gets in and uh, how, and then the percentage that they get through, right? Because 10 pages in a 10 page book is 100%, right? But uh, so, ten, but in my book, it's only 10%. So it, it should be a mixture of those two factors. I think that the currently right now, I think that the cover plays too much of a role. Um, it doesn't really help you, the reader, that much. It doesn't uh, teach you anything for me to have a beautiful cover. Um, it doesn't make the book any more interesting. And uh, there's descriptions. People will um, stuff, keyword stuff, uh, their descriptions. And I don't think that, that helps you, the reader. And so, yeah, that's something I've talked about with some other authors uh, that are published on Amazon. And I'm hoping that Amazon will update their algorithm, as I said, to promote that more because it's only going to make the reader, the reading experience better for you. Because if they can, if they can promote quality of book and quality of content within the book, then writers will be upping their game and making their stuff better for you. So, um, thank you for any feedback, any ratings or reviews that you leave for me. I really appreciate that. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon. There's a slew of new videos coming out here. I've already recorded them, some new tutorials. And uh, I think you'll really enjoy them. So, have a good one. Peace.